Selling your business on TV? For the money it costs you to buy just one spot on some stations, you could buy this many spots on ours. C31 Melbourne and Geelong. More spots, more value, more customers. For over 20 years, Channel 31 has been Melbourne's destination for local homegrown community television. We've provided a platform for some of Australia's biggest names. And we've had thousands of diverse programs. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. But now, Channel 31 is evolving. Oh my God, that's the most amazing news. Our YouTube network is growing. We're still providing the same platform for young people keen to get production experience. We're covering more and more local festivals and events and engaging with local communities, comedians, actors, musicians, sporting organisations and more. See what we've been up to on YouTube. Get it up here. At Channel 31 Melbourne and be sure to subscribe. Welcome to the season premiere of Dot Com Social. Let's get another round of applause because we are live, guys. Yeah! <laughs> Can you believe this little concept of mine only came to life earlier this year? We sold out a networking social media party that left 150 ticket holders inspired and wanting more. So for the next six weeks, we are bringing you a studio version of that very same event, minus the cider, minus the DJs. We have social media profiles from not only all over of Australia, of Australia, but across the world. So before we get stuck into it, don't forget, you can find us on Insta, Facebook, and also my personal account, Emmy Lou Loves. Now, something to keep in mind is that we have the girls from Social Connection who are running our live Facebook stream as we speak. So feel free to converse with them or let us know what's happening in and around your socials, who's nailing it or what events you're putting on. All right. Collaborating, collaborations, collaborate. It's definitely a word that has hit our socials in the last few years and it's taking our businesses and social media accounts and giving them another dimension in terms of content as well as engaging a fresh audience that we may just not have had exposure to. It can also save you a huge amount of money when it comes to marketing campaigns. Tonight, joining us on the couch all the way from Sydney, we have Australia's number one go-to girl for all things collaborations. Let's have a look at the founder of Collabosaurus, Miss Jess Ruthus. Everybody, let's welcome Miss Jess Rufus all the way from Sydney, guys. She's gotten on the plane to be here tonight. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. How hey. exciting. You've been up since 4 a.m., haven't you? I have. <laughs> so I, I saw on your Insta stories you actually had a nap just before you came in here, I which is a total did. luxury for a mother of three. <laughs> <laughs> your makeup artist did an incredible job. So, yes, up since 4. So, I mean, let's go back to, I mean, I'm super familiar with Calabasaurus. A lot of us here are super familiar with it. But, I mean, where, where did you start? What's your background, first of all? Yeah, so I started off um, in fashion and lifestyle PR, actually. Mm. And we were doing a whole lot of um, media launch events for the fashion brands we were representing. Um, and what ended up happening for these um, media launch events was that we need to pull together venue spaces, catering, goodie bag inclusions, photographers, videographers, you name it. And really as a publicist you were relying on your own networks of mm. other publicists who were representing brands that could basically become involved. Yeah. So it was such a scramble, you know, and that was frustrating. Um, and then from that job I went and worked in small business marketing education. 
where I saw brand collaborations and partnerships sort of from the smaller side mm. um, and found out that a lot of the reasons why small businesses weren't pursuing partnerships is because they've um, been rejected or they've they felt as though they've been taken advantage of before or they just don't get a response when they send a pitch. So then around that time, I mean, Tinder was becoming popular and I was trying to source collaborators <laughs> for an event. And I thought, oh my gosh, how amazing would it be to have a Tinder style platform that could connect brands together for really cool collaborations. And, and that's how you kind of pitch Collabosaurus, right? Yeah, well, it's kind of like if Tinder and eHarmony had a baby that was really like <laughs> business focused and loved marketing. Yeah. yeah. So, and so you're the middleman for the collaborations. Yeah, so the website works as like an algorithm as a middleman, yeah. Okay, and so when did when did you start Collabosaurus? When did that come about for you? So from, for, I guess, from the conception of the idea, when did it actually launch? Yeah, well, I came up with the idea, I think I was 21 years old when I registered the domain name and yeah. everyone hated the name. Everyone yeah. I said, oh, you know. Oh, I love the name. Well, now everyone I says love they the love name. it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but at the time, everyone hated it, but I really stuck to my guns. I was like, no, I quite like Collabosaurus. It's quirky. And um, from the idea to when it launched, it probably took about nine to ten months yeah. Um, and yeah it's been going for just over three years now. Yeah right well we actually we have a case study um, from someone who, who used Collabosaurus so yeah. I reckon we should throw to that and then Go we can talk it. about that and, and how and, and how being the middleman is so important I think nowadays with collaboration. Yeah. Yeah let's have a look. I'm Louise, I run Posey Supply Co. I collaborated to be part of the Emma Kate Co launch. Collabosaurus helped Emma Kate Co launch her Wild Heart stationery line in Sydney. Uh, we also collaborated with Posey Supply Co and Louise who styled the event with her beautiful posies. We collaborated with Showbox Coffee as the venue. They were fabulous because they usually are only open in the daytime and we use their venue at night as a bit of a talking point which really drove engagement and got people talking about the event. Um, and then Emma was able to set up all of her stationery and it just looked fabulous. I saw after the event my followers just spike and also I saw the same names from the event come through in orders so I could see straight away I had gained followers and also customers from the experience. I think Collabosaurus is a great tool for anybody who who is launching a startup, who is already involved in a startup, who's running their own business. When you know that they're already involved in Collabosaurus, you know that they're there and they're ready and they're willing to collaborate with you. It's just an awesome way to make people who are like-minded. All right, firstly, I'm going to say that's a fantastic video. Thanks. Um, it was actually our old logo. Yeah, <laughs> I just oh, noticed. Really? I was like, oh, that's our first logo. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. And so, I mean, that's a typical collaboration, wouldn't you say? Yeah, look, I mean, we break down collaborations into sort of three main types. There's events, products, and social media. That one was an event across social media. We had an event launch that really translated across incredible social media exposure. Yeah. And I think the one thing, I think we spoke about this earlier on, is that, you know, with collaborations, communication is key. It, it really does, you really do have to make sure that you are very clear on what each party yeah. is getting and what you're wanting out of the collaboration. Is that right? Yeah. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, I mean, the way we look at collaborations, it's a marketing activity. So you've mm. got to be very clear on what marketing goal you want to achieve at the end of the day and communicate that to your collaborator so that you can both work together to achieve each other's And if they goal. have you, like if they use Collabosaurus, then they've got you as the middleman. So if something does go awry, you, you could <laughs> potentially get in there and, um, and take care of that. Yeah. So we're going to have to go to a break, but coming up after the break, we have got the girls from Queen of Lean joining us talking all about Facebook marketing and how they've nailed video content. The Australian Government is investing $200 billion in defence capability, securing our nation and strengthening our economy. If you're running a business or looking to transfer your trade skills, or perhaps you're studying for a career, you could be part of it. Already there are thousands of Australians who aren't in the Defence Force, but supply and support it. They are the workforce behind the Defence Force. To find out more about Defence Industry, visit defenseindustry.gov.au. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Vic Properties are the country property experts and have a large selection of bush and cleared properties throughout Victoria. Land from just 39500 Call Vic Properties today for a free flyer. 
there is only one name in Nissan Patrol Parts Online. Patrolapart.com.au The ultimate online patrol parts shop. This November, with any Breeze Air Evaporative Air Conditioner, get $250 cash back. Or any Braemar Evaporative Air Conditioners, $150 cash back. Southside Plumbing, Heating and Cooling, 1300-669-555. Or online at southsidehc.com.au. Got your attention? Hey, it's November. Come down. Akuma Reels, 20% off. Wild stocks laugh. Garmin, Hummingbird and Lawrence Fish Finders, starting from one fifteen. Polarised Fishing Glasses. Insane. $10 a pair. Mercury 15 horsepower outboard motors, only $18.90. How much? Only $18.90. And that is amazing. There is only one radio station in Melbourne which reads the daily newspapers every day of the week. 11.79am, Vision Australia Radio, Sound Information. Oh, welcome back to Dotcom Social. Let's face it guys, these days Facebook makes it pretty hard to get an organic database and a highly engaged following. But with over 15k following on their Facebook business page, the girls from Queen of Lean have learned how to create successful Facebook marketing campaigns with the help of video and also old school business sense. Amanda Rakusic and her head coach Christy Lee Brown and their gym mascot Milton who is chilling on the rug there. I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah. he is absolutely adorable. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Oh, you guys look so good. You guys look like you're from the Queen of Lean. Jesus! Oh, yeah, we try. <laughs> oh God, you're beautiful baby girl. We'll talk about that and how much likes that, that gets. True, yeah. <laughs> how great that is for content yeah, a little yeah. later on. Now Christy, I wanted to start with you because we are talking about collaborations tonight. We first met on a collaboration, right? Very much so, yeah. Yeah, so you contacted me um, via Insta. Yep. And I mean, like, how did that take place? Did you have a little chat beforehand or was it quite organic and you're just like, oh, no, I'm going to do this? Not really. I mean, we would kind of flagged that, you know, we wanted to look at some alternative means of being able to showcase what we do. Um, and it wasn't, I guess we weren't actively searching for it, but I'd been kind of being a bit of a fangirl on your stories. And Facebook stalk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just a little bit. These days, nothing's stalking. Everyone does yeah, it everyone. anyway, We're so all that's in fine. It. Yeah. Um, and I guess for me, it really connected that I was watching stories about you cook and you know, you're out with your kids. And I was like, oh, just you showed me so much about authenticity. And I knew that our brand needed someone that, even though it was a collaboration, could showcase exactly what we do and really connect with, um, I guess, our clients or our future clients. So that was really important for me to make sure that authenticity was the, the key focal point. And yeah. I saw that in you. So. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it was something, I mean, you know, it, it was such a, a beautiful way of contacting too, because I think I had posted, uh, for everyone at home, I had posted about uh, wanting to get fit. I think I was walking. <laughs> 
doing like 15 minutes of walking with the kids and saying, right, you know, the show's coming up, I want to get fit. And, and that's when you contact me saying, hey, you know, do you, do you want to come and, and have a chat? And that's how we did. And what I loved and what we just touched on earlier on with Jess was that you guys were really clear with communications. Um, and oh, look, there's me at the gym right now on the screens. And can I just say, like, <laughs> I do actually lift a lot heavier than that. You guys, you guys <laughs> feel? just warming up. Yeah. Yeah. Just warming up, totally. Up. I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can back squat. Look, that's a bear. Bar, she right does there. 40 kilos. I'm yeah. like 40 kilos. Like, it was just something. How yeah. <laughs> do you even live? Just start watching the Insta story, guys. I'll keep it real for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and getting back to communications, you were really clear with that, right? And um, letting us know what, what you kind of, what you were looking for. And then I came back with what, you know, how I felt I could add value. And I think that's where it became quite like a really fantastic relationship as well. Um, and, and it's been able to keep that momentum going throughout the training session because there are highs and lows with any gym, like, um, training regime, I guess you could say. Definitely. And I think, like, because we set that communication at the start, it meant that, like, the, the I guess the rest of our relationship was really natural and organic. It didn't mean that every time we caught up that we were like, okay, have you done this or have you no, done that? No. It was kind of just we were clear around that and we connected and, and found a way to kind of share mutual audiences and Yeah, definitely. From there. Yeah, you were really focused on that, actually. I do want to point that out because you were focused on, hey, we really want this to be about you. Yes, the collaboration is happening, but now that's out of the way. Um, it's, it's time to be about you. So um, I want to jump over to Amanda. Now, f your Facebook page started in 2012. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and a lot has changed since 2012. So much has changed. Facebook-wise, we're talking yeah. about. Like, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, totally. But yeah. I also think about, like, when I scroll back to old videos, the content that I was putting up, it's just, it's laughable. It's, yeah. But, like, compared to now, it's just, um, you know, it's evolved so much. and. But it's, it's been an amazing platform for our business. Yeah, and you, I mean, you guys are really, I think consistency is key when it comes to content and, and producing it and producing good content. And I think that is something that you guys do well, wouldn't you agree? Um, I'm with, relentless with it. Yeah, I know. I mean, there's always a video out. I mean, don't actually, your gym, like, isn't like you sign a press release so that you can feel free to film content? Yes, yeah, we do it with our clever. clients, yeah. Yeah, and um, I think we've got some video footage of you guys doing your latest Facebook marketing campaign, which I think is really gorgeous and really fun. Um, <laughs> did you guys have Beyonce playing in the background? We here? Can definitely I had music playing. you guys are rocking <laughs> it out. I love it. Like every single one of you. I've watched this a couple of times. Now, something like this, do you get a professional videographer in to do this? We do. We have um, a professional videographer in every quarter. Right. Um, it wasn't something that we started off doing, but now just as the bar has lifted over the years, we do that on a regular basis. Mm. Um, and our photo shoots just have just evolved into something that like they change every time and they're yeah. so much fun. And Because our brand is about having fun. Yeah. And um, yeah, the team dancing to Beyonce <laughs> and doing our thing. And it's just kind of like, we of don't like know what's going Betty on here, and... but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is the thing that the, co the bar has lifted with video content. So you film a lot of the content on your own though, because I do yeah. see you guys doing that. Um, and just, uh, you know, for the nuts and bolts for everyone at home, you do have a DSLR that you use. Yeah, we've got a Canon 700D yep. um, and a Sennheiser uh, mic, mic that we use. Yeah. So um, we find that that's really good just for all the in-between um, filming, but yeah. like we can't always have someone in there well, getting yes, content, it's not know, realistic. Just yeah, for a budget wise you can't do that, but I love that you guys have made that point of, of getting you know something that is going to film great content and you can edit it and, and do something valuable with it as well. Well I think it was a breakthrough moment for me, I went to a business course and um, there was a guy that was talking about like filming and is just saying that, because so many people are so self-conscious about themselves. Mm. Um, and he said, he's like, you know what, that's what you look like, that's what you sound like, get over it. Yeah. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, that's amazing. And since then, I've just filmed all the girls. I'm always putting the camera in front of all of my staff's faces. <laughs> but <laughs> I love it because the tripod is actually permanently set up right, right Pretty next much. to the yeah. Yeah. file. <laughs> and it's a prerequisite as an employee of our company to... Yeah 
be yeah, yeah. okay to <laughs> take the camera. <laughs> While they're training, yeah. sweating it out. Yeah. I'm just going to film yeah. this. It's great because as the girls, you know, there's, there's girls going through the bikini challenge right now um, and we do have to jump to a break in a second, but, you know, they, they are getting body confident and body ready for a photo shoot, which is fantastic, which I cannot wait to see the content from that. We're going to have to go to a break in a second, but when we get back, we're going to talk to the girls. Uh, we're going to talk to Jess, sorry, and the girls from Social Connection is going to tell us all about events happening around Australia. Makers of the finest craft beer, the Hawthorne Brewing Company, are proud supporters of C31. That's amore, that's amore, hey! that's amore for you. In Italy, Giorgio Linguanti developed a passion for fine food. In Australia, he established That's Amore Cheese, producing some of the finest Italian cheeses in the country. Delicious bocconcini, mozzarella, ricotta and so much more. Visit That's Amore Cheese retail outlet in Thomastown or online at that'samorecheese.com.au. Hey, that's amore for you. I love mozzarella. One hundred and fourteen year old tall ship Alma Dopal is an important piece of Australian history. She still has a big contribution to make to youth welfare. Visit almadopal.com.au today to learn how you can support her restoration. Wilson Carburetor Service is one of the oldest and most respected carburetor specialists in Australia. For more than 50 years, we've repaired and reconditioned classic cars carburetors like SU, Holly, and Rochester. Visit wilsoncarburetorservice.com.au. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time shooter, at Gun Emporium, our expertise and passion is matched only by our huge range of firearms and accessories from top brands. Visit gunemporium.com.au. Not your everyday run-of-the-mill gun shop. It's a fight you never saw coming. James versus the Broken Heart. For seven months, he had a girlfriend. Now all he has is a broken heart. He's hurt. He's angry. And... He hasn't left the house in days. The broken heart wants to bring on the pain, but with headspace in his corner, he knows he can take it on. If you're struggling with a relationship breakup, headspace can help. For someone else to talk to, visit headspace.org.au. Slice of life, action sword, Moe Q, adventure game. Magic Bishonen, Chiseled Abs, Bosty Women! Come in, guys, please! Ah! <laughs> so weird. The girls from Social Connection have been working hard all week to find you some amazing networking events happening around the country. So let's have a look at what they got. All right, we've got the Mama Sorority Collaboration Workshop happening on the Gold Coast on the 17th of November. We've got Lights, Camera, Lipstick Video Workshop, that sounds fun, Camberwell, Victoria on the 14th of November. We've got Photography and Styling Workshop happening in Northcote on the 16th of November. 3217 Collaboration Co. in Mount Dunedin happening on the 15th of November and the 13th of December. And we've got the Lead of, League of Extraordinary Women happening in Melbourne on the 13th of November and Launceston on the 15th of November. Thank you so much, Beck and Cara, for getting those for us. And just so that you guys know, um, you can get all of our details on our Facebook page, which they are manning right now. So if you want to know any of the links, they're going to drop them all in there. And um, please feel free to contact them too if you need any more info on that. We are on the couch with Miss Jess Rufus from Collabosaurus. <laughs> and we are going to have a look at this really cute, one of my favourite Collabosaurus videos that you <laughs> produce. It's super yeah. short, but it's super cute. So let's have a look at that. Thanks for 
with free advertising. I know, I know. That wasn't That's actual awesome. ad in the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, firstly, can I just say anything with like two hot girls throwing confetti has <laughs> got to get you some traction, right? Yeah, we saw heaps of traction from that video. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because that was probably one of the most low cost videos we've shot. So was that professionally produced? So what we actually used was a platform called Promo by Slidely, where they have a bank of stock images with a preset three window cut, and you can choose stock music as well, and then you own the commercial license for that. Wow. Um, with like a one-off subscription. It's so, so great. So what was it called again? Promo by Slidely. Okay, so everyone needs to get, we'll, we'll get yeah. those, we'll get those, that information, because I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be asking about that, because that's the sort of stuff I was talking about with, you know, Amanda and Christy about, I don't know, really finding out where your priorities lie with your budget yeah. and working out how you can produce great video content at a low cost, but mm -hmm. it, it does have to grab you and it does yes. have to be good. Yes. Well, the great thing is that there are alternatives. I mean, we use that for some sort of stock images that we've put together for ad campaigns. But mm. I mean, recently I was shooting a whole lot of Facebook ad videos and I went and hired, you know, a camera and lighting and a mic. And after doing, you know, 16 takes or something ridiculous, it turns out that my phone actually had better sound and everything from my earpiece. So, really? Yeah. Look, I mean, the iPhone is amazing. And I mean, I'm a bit of an Apple ambassador, but yeah. like it it can really shoot incredible content these days yeah definitely and so with Collabosaurus I mean how, how long has it been going for now about three years so about three years what where do you see collaborations like taking Collabosaurus but also taking brands and and yeah. you know I mean we are talking social media here but behind social media accounts are the brands mm -hmm. so where do you see Collabosaurus helping with that Look, I mean, collaborations are so different depending on which brands are involved. Mm. I think everyone now is getting a really good grasp of influencer marketing, you know, brand to influencer yeah. matchmaking, mm. whereas Collabosaurus is a brand to brand matchmaker. So we do things like, you know, the for example, Spotify and Uber partnering up and doing something cool or uh, GoPro and Red Bull and they did something cool mm. together. And basically every time you're partnering up with another brand, these brands have communities of their own that you can tap into similar audiences to yours and mm. essentially double your reach for no additional budget, which yeah, is amazing. That's what's so fascinating. But also, um, you know, you touched on the influencer connecting with brands. Mm -hmm. That can be hard. As a micro influencer, that can be hard. You know, sometimes you say, hey, let's collaborate. The brand automatically gets its back up going, no, you just want free stuff. Yeah. And, and that's not the case. We actually want to tap into their audience. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have any suggestions for that micro influencer or, or, or even for the the brand or the product, a small product, a yeah. small business wanting to start that communication off. Absolutely. I think for influencers, you guys need to recognize that in yourself, you're a brand. So if you treat your personal brand as like a business, mm. that's a great way to move forward and grow your community that way. But I mean, the word collaboration is thrown around and used in so many exactly. different ways. Um, we use it in a marketing sense. So it's value for value. It's not necessarily, you know, you pay me and I post about it. Mm. It's a let's work together and grow each other's communities together through different means. Yeah, definitely. And do you recommend um, as an influencer wanting to connect with a brand that maybe, you know, sometimes, you know, you can have different levels or different tiers of where you're at. Would you recommend an influencer um, contacting that brand via Insta, via social media, or would via you? Via Collabosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, aside Touché. from Collabosaurus, um, aside from Collabosaurus, I'd probably say absolutely go for the pitch. Like yeah. the worst thing that can happen is for that brand to say no. But I mean, I think you've got to recognize, again, yourself as a brand and the value that you bring to the table. I think if another brand's going to invest in you in like a paid influencer sense mm. or collaborate with you um, as like a value exchange, either mm. way, you're going to have to be able to really clearly communicate what value you're bringing to the table, whether that is a very engaged social media community, an email list that's really engaged, or content oh. creation skills as well. If you can take great photos, yeah. that's a brilliant value to be able to bring to oh, the table. Oh, that's such a good tip. Thank you so much. Now, yeah. Jess, I've got a little game to play with you. Oh, yeah. Now, <laughs> you're from Sydney. Oh, no. It's cup, <laughs> it's cup Eve, everybody. So um, I thought I would make a game up. Oh, and no. it's called Horses or Handles. Okay, I'm so, so nervous about this. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to name 
either a horse okay. or a handle. A horse is that's in the Melbourne Cup tomorrow. Okay. Or an Instagram handle. Okay. And you just have to name whether it's a horse or a handle. And okay. I've got the cutest little app. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's called um, Game Show. It's so clunky. It's ugly as hell. I love it. Um, all right. So <laughs> hang on. Let's go. All right, so horse or handle, that's all you okay. have to say. It has to be quick. If it's not quick, it's not going to work, all right? <laughs> all right, Speed wall fire. of fire. Horse. Oh, yeah, you got that right. Oh, can we hear that? <laughs> all right, Bondi Beach. Handle. Tofu Papa. Horse. Oh, I like that, that sound. Be a right. horse. Um, Stylo Melon. Handle. Yes. <laughs> Red Cardinal. Horse. Yes. Uh, Tons of Blush. Horse. Harlem. Horse. <laughs> La Latro. Handle. <laughs> I'm just going to press that. Thank you so no, much, no, Jess no. Rufus. We've got to wind up now. Thank you to the girls from Queen of Lean. Thank you to our audience. Thank you to Feather and Noise, Birdie Cider, all of you guys watching at home. You can contact us through all of our handles, websites, everything that the girls from Social Connections have got on the screen for you on their Facebook live streaming that's happening right now. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have got anything that's happening around the country and you want to let us know about it, please do. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Thank you so much. My name is Emmy Lou McCarthy and this is Dotcom Social. <laughs> well done guys. Thank you.